New tonight, the Cold 7 investigators with exclusive hidden camera video. Aggressive towing companies taking your cars. Cold 7 investigator Teresa Marchette has been watching one particular company for weeks. And Teresa, our video reveals its drivers are not following the rules. Parking a lot monitored by Lone Star Towing, and your car could be gone in seconds. You shouldn't park illegally. Still, the state has rules to make sure drivers are treated fairly. Regulators looked at our video and saw enough questionable conduct to open their own investigation. He's going to tow it. Oh, he's pushing it back. No paperwork at all. This is the Lone Star towing crew hard at work. They got both of them. Snapping up illegally parked vehicles. He was gone less than a minute. Any way they can. It's their turf, the lots adjacent to the Ogden Theater on Colfax, where the cars of eager concert goers or shoppers who linger too long will be plucked out in an instant. And how long were you gone? When oh, you went maybe to... like two minutes. Cameron Harris Carter got caught on a night we happened to be watching. I don't even think two minutes before the dude came back, before he had me hooked up. He also says he never saw the ticket tow drivers are required to fill out before taking the vehicle. He just wrote down my VIN number. Did he write your VIN number down on that on that ticket or no? No, nah, it was on a normal piece of paper that he had on the clipboard. And we never saw any paperwork filled out on other toes. The Call 7 team spent several nights watching Lone Star operate. The moment the driver steps off the property, a spotter calls the tow truck. In as few as 90 seconds, the car is gone. Impressive, maybe. But legal, the state wants to find out. Rules of the Public Utilities Commission, the state agency that oversees and regulates towing companies, say a tow authorization, including the make, plate number, and time and place of the tow, must be filled out before the vehicle leaves the lot. He's already got it hooked up. Watching the speed of these tows, it's difficult to see how the drivers would have time to complete that paperwork. Went inside, shopped around came out my car was gone. And the aggressive towing sometimes catches drivers who are parked legally. Rita Jones' car was towed from this Walgreens lot while she was inside the store shopping. Who authorized them to tow your vehicle? I do not know. The timestamp on her Walgreens receipt shows she was inside paying for her purchases at the same time her car was being towed. Based on the video you've shown me, I've already directed staff to start an investigation. Doug Dean is the executive director of the PUC. After we started asking questions, Dean sent out investigators who cited Lone Star for the same thing we suspected, failing to fill out a tow authorization on site. The PUC fine, up to $1,500. If we find they violated the rules, the very first thing we try to do is to make the consumer whole. That's our number one goal is try to get them their money back. Hi guys, I'm Teresa Marchetta. I'm from 7 News. We want to talk to you guys about your towing practices. We offered Lone Star's president several opportunities to go on camera. He declined, but we caught up with his drivers. Where's your paper? Where, where do you fill it out? We get done what we need to on property as far as PUC is concerned, and then we fill out the rest of the damage notes and everything off property. Another issue drivers feel is unfair, how Lone Star handles credit cards to drop a vehicle if the owner catches them mid-tow. We accept Diners Club card. You accept a Diners Club card? Yes, that's one of the top four major credit card companies. How does the PUC feel about their rules being interpreted in that manner? By the letter of the law, they've complied because Diners Club is considered a major credit card. But I believe it certainly violates the spirit of what we intended. But he cautions drivers the best way to avoid getting towed in the first place is to park in authorized spots. You know that you, they had a right to tow you. You know that. Yeah, they had a right to tow me, but you know, the manner that they did it, they didn't even do it right. And Dean says the PUC rules will require tow companies to accept Visa and MasterCard. That goes into effect in June. Despite refusing to appear in this story, Lone Star's owner says he has paid the PUC penalty, and he asked 7 News to contact Rita Jones, saying he'll consider refunding her money. I'm Call 7 investigator Teresa Marchetta. If you have a story idea for Teresa or any of the Call 7 investigators, give us a call at 303-832-7777 or email us at call7 at thedenverchannel.com.